Welcome to Miami, Florida, the home of a very large, highly concentrated populace of sludge producers, also known as humans, and the home of the Metropolitan Dade County Municipal Wastewater Treatment Plant. With an inflow rate of 200 plus million gallons per day, this wastewater treatment plant had to find an effective method for sludge disposal, and it has, with the Brown Bear Auger Aerators. Since 1986, when Miami-Dade received its first Brown Bear unit, a Brown Bear II, five Brown Bear aerators have been purchased and operated at the plant. Today, Miami is operating with a current fleet of two Brown Bear IIs and two Brown Bear Model 500s, the largest self-propelled units Brown Bear manufactures, which is what you see here. Each auger unit breaks up and turns up to 3,000 cubic yards of windrowed sludge hourly. This greatly reduces the drying time over other handling methods. As the sun and wind naturally remove the remaining moisture, the mass shrinks enough to enable windrows to be combined to take up less space. Also, alleyways are not required with this machine, so there is a great reduction in space requirements. The brown aerator works directly into the waste product, forming its own windrows. This is the only turner that builds its own windrows initially. The aerator's reverse rotation works the windrow from the bottom up and to the side, aerating all material to ground level. This method of moving and reestablishing the windrow in one pass means maximum oxygen incorporation and eliminates the chance of anaerobic pockets. The rapid handling rate exposes 100% of the material to oxygen immediately so that noxious odors can be absorbed aerobically. However, Turning the anaerobic sludge cake from the digesters into aerobic biosolids takes two to three turnings. To counter this short-term odor problem, an attachable spray system using the oxidizer potassium permanganate has been designed. By now applying four gallons per minute of potassium permanganate directly to the biosolids as they are aerated, the odor-causing hydrogen sulfides and ammonia sulfide gases are instantly neutralized, therefore resolving any odor problems. When Miami initially pumps its freshly digested sludge into the drying beds at 25% solids, the bear's main job is to simply break the surface crust, exposing wet solids to solar and wind drying, and killing fly eggs laid in the crust. But, as material dries, windrows are formed, increasing exposed surface area, which speeds drying. In fact, Miami can dry their sludge from 25% solids to 85% solids in about 20 days during hot summer months using the Brown Bear Auger aerators. Speaking of hot, dry summers, let's travel west to the city of Phoenix, Arizona and see how they are using three Brown Bear Model 500s and one Brown Bear II in their sludge drying operation. To explain their process personally, here's Keith Greenberg. My name's Keith Greenberg. I'm the Assistant Wastewater Superintendent for the City of Phoenix, uh, Multi Cities 91st Avenue Wastewater Treatment Plant, and we are located in Phoenix, Arizona. The process we use is a combination of mechanical and solar drying. Um, the very hot temperatures we have allows us the great ability to do solar drying, and then we use a farm tractor to help turn the sludge and get it a little bit drier and then the brown bear picks it up at about 18 percent, 15 to 18 percent dry, dries it up to 40 percent. We then stockpile it and store it until our sludge hauler can come and get it. The finished sludge is then picked up by a contracted sludge hauler at a cost of approximately fourteen dollars per ton and applied to cotton fields. This price is very low when compared to the two hundred dollar landfill tipping fees found in Phoenix. Keith believes that the paddle auger is much more effective than the older screw type. About two and a half to three years ago, somewhere in that range, we switched from the auger on the brown bears to the paddles. And we find that the paddles dry the sludge about 40 to 50 percent faster than the auger did. So what has the brown bear auger aerator done for Keith and the city of Phoenix's wastewater treatment plant? Using the brown bear allowed us to get it dry quick and get it applied on cotton fields. For additional information on how the brown bear auger aerators can benefit